Hi Curlies, welcome back to another video. Can you guys see me? Okay, if you're new to the channel, I am SoulChild67, aka Betty. Hopefully I don't lose my lighting using natural light and of course my lamp. <laughs> this video is being recorded on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Get excited, get excited, because this week is the announcement of the Galaxy, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Are you guys excited? Probably not if you're Apple users, right? <laughs> I actually like both, believe it or not. But anyway, let's get into the video. If you notice my brows, yes, Haunty, your girl has discovered Ulta. I was using that Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever, of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I have it in uh, black, I think, <laughs> which I found out. That is the color I should be using. I was thinking I had a harsh brow, but I really don't. So I had a coupon. I keep telling you, Curlies, if you like makeup and hair products, try to get on the email list of some of your favorite stores, especially Sephora and Ulta. Well, Ulta, yeah, because I do know they have some stuff for us. <laughs> Shout out to Ulta. This is not sponsored. Uh, I stopped in just to get another brow pencil uh, and I was going to get chocolate, but then when we tried it on, the chocolate has a red tint to it. And because of my skin complexion, it was not going to work. I still actually have some on my hand that we tried out. We tried different colors. Yeah, they look crazy. But anyway, I ended up getting a Benefit Brow Pomade, the Cabral by Benefit. And I have the number five, which is a black brown color. And that is what I have on now. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> the young lady at Ulta did these brows. She took mine off and she did these brows. And I sent a picture to Curl Girl and she said, you have YouTube brows. I was like, yes, honey, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I was so excited. But let's hope when I take these off that I am able to do it as well. So this retails for, I think, $24 or $25 but I had a $5 coupon that you could use off anything that's $10 or more. No exclusions, except you couldn't use it for hair services or getting the brows done, but you could use that coupon on any product in the store as long as it was over $10, so $5 off. So I got the big one. They have the little one. It's about like that for $12, and it lasts a year because it is a brow pomade. So I got the one, the big one, that should last two years, she said. <laughs> but I'm like, even though I do my brows every day, but she was worried about me getting the big one because it dries out. But she said if it dries out, just dip your oil, dip your brush in a little bit of oil, and then just a little bit of oil now. Don't pour oil in it, <laughs> but dip your brush in a little bit of oil and just kind of stir, and it's back to new. It's back to the new new. But I got the bigger one, and it is Cabral. In, it is by Benefit. And uh, yeah, and it has the built-in brush. I'm loving this. She did a great job. I'm probably going to go see her to get my, my eyebrows done when they grow back in. <laughs> Look how big this is. She told me this should last two years. <laughs> this thing is huge. But um, what you do is, let's see if I can open it. You take this off. There's your pomade in there. And then you take this, and I think Maybelline has something like this. And then you take this and attach it, and there is your brush. Isn't that cool? And you can just, yeah, I think that's so cool. But knowing me, I'll probably just use it like this, you know? So, yeah, I think that is so, and the, the quality of the brush is so much better than the Maybelline. Um, I have the Maybelline one, I've used the CoverGirl one, and the brush is kind of hard, and I'm like, oh my God. You can tell when you buy a quality um, quality makeup and it comes with a brush or an applicator. It's just to totally different. So, yes, that is what I have on now, the Benefit Cabral. And I have the number five in on, which uh, the number five, yes, the number five is like a black brown. But always, and it gives you a book too with tips. God knows I need all the tips I can get. <laughs> and like you, I watch YouTube to get tips on how to do brows and all that good stuff. So don't think that I don't because I do. I do um, watch videos on that as well as hair stuff. 
So, um, yeah, so what's new Monday? Because by the time you see this video, it will be Monday. So this is the what's new video, and that is what's new with me. Also, something that isn't new, but I returned back to it, is this. Bella Curls. It is the Bella Curls Coconut Cream Curl Defining Cream. I return back to this um, because now that my, it still smells so glorious, <laughs> now that my hair is short and I don't always need gel to define it, I don't know if that's because I'm not using permanent color, I don't know what that's about, but I like it. I like the fact now that I don't always have to use a gel to define my curls. I am still using um, a semi-permanent um, hair color by Clairol. Oh, they gave me a sample of something. I forgot when you buy something from Ulta, they give you a sample and uh, it's Clinique and it's some kind of, oh, it's so, look, Ulta, could you have given me more? It's just for one night only for my face. Yeah, it's a face lotion. Mm, okay, thank you. <laughs> So, and the other thing I've been experimenting with is because I had heat rash, I always get them in the summertime, behind my ears and on the back of my neck, and it drives me nuts. And I have been using regular lotion, and you guys know this, because I talked about the Avon lotions that I still use, but I had to stop, okay? I had to completely stop. And so the hubby and I went to, um, I forgot where we went. <laughs> But we, we bought some shea butter. When I think about it, I will put it in the comment. I will put it in the description box um, where we went. But of course, you can go to any of the... Um, there's House of Africa here in Charlotte and quite a few places where you can get um, get stuff that you, uh, you need. Uh, let's see. This is raw African shea butter that I have. The reason... The yellow is pure. The white is when it's something mixed with it to give an exfoliation to the skin. And since I was using it on a heat rash, I didn't want to exfoliate the skin. But if you are exfoliating the skin, then get the white. The only thing is with this, it's like rock solid. So I wanted to whip my shea butter so that it would be a little softer, you know, to put on my skin. So this is mine in the Talente Gelato Sea Salt Caramel. <laughs> container this is my whip my uh whipped shea butter that i whipped myself yeah i did a good job didn't i and i found out the best thing to use is a light carrier oil now since i knew i was going to be using shea butter on my skin shea butter in my hair because you know i still use it in my hair every now and then so i'm back to doing that because i had read that shea butter does help grow your hair now people say no, it clogs the scalp and all of that. That cannot be true because if it were, then the women in Africa would not be using this on their hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was clogging the hair and making the hair come out. Come on, people. But anyway, I got the Now Solutions grapeseed oil, 100% pure, sensitive skin care. It's a light, silky moisturizer for all skin types. I got this at GNC for $10, but now that I'm a GNC member, which is free, now, the next time I go, I'll get a percentage off, which will be better because I'll definitely be going to GNC because they carry this line, uh, the Now Solutions. And I know you guys have seen lots of naturals with this, but I mixed these two together and I whipped it for about 10 minutes because when I went online, they suggest that you whip your shea butter at least 10 minutes. Now, if you go past 10 minutes, I'm not sure what the consistency of it may be and you may not like it that way. So I was like, you know what? If they say stop at 10 minutes, I'm stopping at 10 minutes, okay? And I'm pretty cool with, with it, but this was the carrier oil that I used. And if you use this by itself, um, it is good for soothing away dryness. It's suitable for all skin types. It won't clog pores or cause breakouts, which was great because I had the heat rash behind my ear, here and here and here on my neck. So that was good. Um, but yeah, it's a silky texture. It's grapeseed oil is perfect as a base for lotions and it's mild enough to use as a conditioner for all hair types. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about dropping this inside of some of my favorite conditioners, <laughs> but so far I've just used it with the, um, with my shade, my pure, my, my, 
my rock solid shea butter here. <laughs> and I mixed it up. And yeah, so I think I whipped it pretty good. I gotta, I didn't wanna whip all of it, so I whipped enough to, you know, use on my skin. I'm using it all over now. And um, I may go back to the Avon lotions. I don't know. I still have half a bottle in each one because the hubby and I were both using it. So yeah, that is my What's New Monday. Um, let's talk about this in the comments section. Have you guys bought some raw shea butter? Uh, do you just scoop it out? Um, do you whip it? I know some places that you buy will whip it for you for extra feet. But I decided to whip mine myself. My husband gifted me this big one. I'm so thankful because I'm telling you, my skin, it was horrible. I had people going, what is that on the back of your neck? And I started to say, your mother. <laughs> but I did not do that. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, that's it for what's what's new. Uh, if you've tried grapeseed oil or any of the other carrier oils, you know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this shea butter thing because I was on this kick in the beginning and then I stopped using it in my hair because so many other YouTubers, oh, shea butter is bad for the hair and da-da-da and this and that and this and that. And, you know, I fell into the trap. I've never had a problem with coconut oil. Never had a problem with shea butter. But because other people talked about it, I stopped. I just cold turkey stopped. <laughs> but now I'm back on it, okay? And also, if you've used Benefit Kapow, I mean Cabral, if you've used this, um, let me know what your thoughts are. This is the pomade, because um, she was telling me a lot of people don't do, if you're a beginner, you really shouldn't have the pencil, because with the pencil, you have the potential to be heavy-handed. With the pomade, you can clean it up easier with a Q-tip. And she proved that to me, because she messed up a little bit, and she just took a Q-tip, and boom, it slid off. And, you know, this this is, um, and I have oily skin, so this should last me, like, all day. <laughs> I just have to learn to do the shape, because this shape she gave me is just, you know, like, I'm impressed. Like, I keep making faces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, curlies. I guess that's all I had for you for the what's new. I just wanted to talk about that and show you these brows. And I will see you in the next video. And I know you guys are asking about Curl Girl. It's like every time we're in the car, I want to shoot footage, but the music is on. And, you know, we have YouTube copyright issues. So eventually she'll pop up. I promise you. <laughs> okay, don't forget to comment, like, Subscribe, share, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!